Greetings! Welcome to the Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be covering automatic handguns. So we're going to start off by taking a look at a, uh, at a modern 1911 that we have here and talk about the various sorts of controls and operation uh, of the firearm. I'm going to go ahead and spawn lock a magazine there to, uh, to get started. So I've got a magazine here. We insert uh, into the bottom in almost every single case. And then to ready the firearm, we grab the slide here, pull it back, and, uh, and then release. So we now have a round chamber, the hammer is back, and it's ready to fire. So we're just going to line up those sights and pull the trigger to fire. Wonderful. It's now empty. Uh, in almost every case, the slide locks back, although some older uh, handguns, this uh, you may fire the last round and it doesn't hold open. Uh, we can eject the, the, the mag out of it. Uh, by clicking down on the touchpad or joystick. Uh, of note as well, if you hold your trigger on the Vive or grab button on, on the Rift near the bottom of the gun, when you eject the mag, it will actually eject into your hand in case you want to place that back in a quick belt slot. So we've taken out the empty mag and we're ready to insert another one. So we can do that here. Now to uh, ready this to fire again, we can we can either grab the slide and rack it again to chamber our first round, or we can click left on the touchpad or joystick and then drag slightly downward. That will release the slide, and then it's ready to fire. Wonderful. So I'm going to dump out the mag here real quick, and I'll uh, let this slide come forward. There's a couple other more idiosyncratic sort of weapon handling things that we can do with an automatic handgun. The first is that we can, in fact, lock the slide to the rear even without a uh, magazine present. Without a mag, usually if you just grab the slide like that, it will not lock back. But we can grab it, hold it back, and then click left on the touchpad on the firing hand and drag up, and you can see that the slide release is now up. So we've locked it back so we could theoretically now slam a mag in, just rack that, ready to go. So that's how you manipulate the slide release. You can also manipulate the hammer manually. So say the hammer is forward and I wanted to just cock the hammer, say if it was already chambered, I can click right on the touchpad and drag down. That will cock the hammer. If I want to decock the hammer, I click right on the touchpad, slightly depress the trigger, and drag up. And that will uh, send the hammer back forward. Some handguns have safeties. Not all of them. By default, currently out of the item spawner, they spawn without the safety active. You can toggle that by clicking up on the touchpad or joystick, which we can see happening there. When the safety is on, you will not be able to grab the slide. So if at any point, say you use the grab ray to pick up a handgun, go to fire it, and nothing's happened, you might have accidentally activated the safety and need to deactivate it. So that's basic operation for an automatic handgun in H3. Very similar to automatic handguns is the machine pistols category. They operate almost identically just load a mag in down here, rack the slide. The only difference in almost every case here is just that you can actually hold down the trigger and fire the, uh, the weapon fully automatic. Like so. And we are empty. Whew, that is a gassy sucker. And then lastly, uh, in the automatic handguns category, but slightly more unusual, uh, we do have a couple older clip-fed handguns. So in this case, we've got the C96 Mauser, which has an integral magazine. It doesn't eject a mag. It's just sort of built into the firearm. We can open its, uh, its breech there grab a, uh, a clip. This is a stripper clip. Note, for those of you who aren't into guns much, this is a magazine. This is a clip. So we're going to pop that clip into our uh, quick belt slot, grab a duplicate of it. We pop it in. It will sort of lock into the firearm, and then we grab the clip again and, and drag towards the firearm to load the rounds in. When the clip is empty, it just ejects straight off the firearm. We're going to grab this to send it forward. Wonderful. 
One little thing that can sometimes happen is that we've, say, filled uh, a firearm up or partially filled it, like, say, fired just a couple shots, and then locked this back. And say we to take a, uh, a clip, put it on, start to load, and oh no, there isn't any more room in the magazine anymore for this. Well, the way we we uh, deal with this problem is we just grab the uh, the clip and then click down on the touchpad to remove the clip from the firearm. And that is how you use clip-fed automatic handguns. Hope this video was useful to you. Peace.